Ba weep, gonna weep, nini bong. This is Sean Prime 01 here, back with another video review. And today we'll be looking at the Transformers Tr Prime Beast Hunters Laserback. And I will be sniffling on this video. I'm a little, I have the sniffles. Sadly. But I still will be going on this week. And if you do not like Beast Hunters, do not tune in Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Most of this week is Beast Hunters. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, first, let's take a quick look at the instructions for the Tales of the Beast Hunters. And right off the bat, if I can do it, there's a cool picture of Laserback up there. Can't do this correctly. It is Toxic Strike Blasters, what is that thing is. Disintegrates and destroys most armor. Double blasts can melt massive targets in seconds. Acid fumes can cause unprotected circuits to short out. Pretty deadly dude. Like I said, this is the first time I've read these, so I'm most likely going to mess up. In all of these. So let's begin. Even as he floated helpless in the darkness of the hy hyper evolution chamber... Laserback could hear what happened around him. He heard much of what Shockwave said to his said in his strange voice, and he knew before he emerged what his plan would be. Now freed from the chamber, he he is no longer interested in what the Decepticon scientist who cloned him has to say. Laserback refuses to serve under anyone and is not an overlord like Megatron or a conqueror like Predaking. Instead, he is determined to see chaos reign. Stealing a tracking device from the lab, he blasts off, hoping to see chaos made made king by the destruction of two tyrants who stand in his way. Continuing chapter four, Deluxe Wheeljack, to be Wednesday's review. Yeah. Oh man. Anyway, let's get down to the figure. Now, sadly, mine will not peg in. It'll just it really will not peg in all the way. I don't know if that's a problem with all of them, or if it's just mine. But other than that, he's still a pretty nice figure. I really like him. Little dinosaur mode thing. Dinosaur dragon. I don't know what this thing I don't know what this thing is. Predacon mode. That's all I can say. Alright, let's quickly show articulation on this thing. The head can move up and down. The mouth can open and close. Arms... Move forward and back. A little bit of, I guess an elbow joint and then foot movement. These things move like crazy. Up and down they rotate. They have two joints at the knee and the foot feet are on ball joints. So yeah, this thing has lots and lots of movement. You know, I do like this Predacon mode. This one is probably my third favorite that I own. Which believe me, there aren't too many of them that I own. <laughs> But it's probably my third favorite of my, you know, bigger ones. And you can adjust these. However you like them. Nope. <sighs> so anyway, let's get down to the transformation. So first we're going to do is put that up. Grab the hand. Put it down. Rotate the arm. Put the feet up. Put that down. Rotate the hand. Now I do this how I prefer to do this the most. The Best way that's easiest for me, just because I do. You go ahead and take this, pull that off, and just kind of accordion these like legs, and then just split that for now. I'm gonna take this piece back here. This will become his weapon later, but just bring it up, and then bring his tail piece up. Take these legs, connect them. You gotta connect them at the crotch section. It's hard to do. And there's basically his legs done. Looks angry that his legs. But anyway, next, put that piece down. Take th this all and just kind of separate everything. You wanna make sure these are down. And have that pop off. Oh gosh, everything's popping off on me. Oh no. What the? Oh no, everything's popping off. 
Give me one sec, guys. Everything is popping off. Give me just one second. Just one second. I gotta figure out what the deal is. It just like snapped, right? What? Give me a second. These. This is the, literally the first time this has ever happened. At all. This is blowing my mind. Ah. Just needed more glue when it was made. Through that, it's just been sitting on a shelf that long. Alright. Hold on. I'm right about got it. I'm just putting in that little beast that fell a second ago. Okay, done. Now I want to take this piece. That up. I'm sorry, I just took like a minute. Push these in. Put the legs how they're supposed to be. Just bring the arms down. Take this whole yellow assembly. You can, you can remove this. And bring all that down. Go ahead and tab that back up there. And here, we have Laserback in his robot mode. I'm going to kind of move it closer. My legs are a little bit loose. Not by much, though. And he looks pretty cool. I really do like him. Now, he does have his gun that can be mounted on his back. And just open it. It just looks like a little crab. It's like a little crab because they're like the little legs and the tail. It just kind of looks like a crab. And it goes. Doo, 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 doo. It looks like that to me. But you can just, you know, plug it on his back, and that's usually what I do. Just plug it on his back. I mean, he's not called laser back for nothing. Bring that down. Articulation, the head is on the ball joints. It's really hard to get in there. Arms, move forward 360. Go in and out a little bit. They rotate right there. Can't get, do it, get it to do it. Elbow movement and wrists. Rotation. Not that the waist, legs move forward and back. Lots and lots of joints here. That I don't know what to call them. You can take tail that's removed earlier. Yeah, that'd be one of his weapons. Now he's a Berserko Freako guy. <laughs> if I can understand. So yeah. Let me get that laser. Overall, I would highly recommend this figure. Especially if you're trying to get the entire story, you kind of have to get him. But he's a pretty cool figure for the first time Hasbro's redoing the Predacons. Because he was the first. Second one was Predaking, of course. Anyway, I think that's about all I can say. So, be sure to check out my channel for other video reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. And this is Sean Prime, signing out.